Good morning. Welcome to Devotion in the Proverbs. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson. I'm a United Methodist pastor in Safford, Arizona. And if this is your first time joining us, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. We're going through Proverbs 30, chapter 30 right now. We're getting toward the end of it. Chapter 30, verse 11. And today is Thursday, February 3rd. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. Imagine that. Maybe it's not hard to do. Cursing a father and not blessing a mother. Just imagine what the word curse means. I don't mean swearing at them, or being cruel to them, or not paying attention to their guidance and misbehaving. But I'm talking about the curse that is damning, wishing them misfortune, invoking evil upon your parents. That kind of damning, that kind of curse can be fatal to a family. As an activity, I want you to think about this. Think about cursing your parents. Cursing your parents is like cursing yourself. You are made from whom, who they are and were raised by them. You've seen all of their faults, all of their follies, but you've also seen goodness in them and leading and guiding and feeding and clothing and caring for you. They've raised you and they've taught you. Now, I understand that not everything a parent teaches is something you should know. Um, not all parents say the right things at the right time, do the right things in their life. We don't always get it right. I'm a parent and I know I've not always gotten it right, much to my dismay. But you cannot get away from who you are. You are a part of them. It doesn't mean that you have to act like them, but you can take the goodness, the good things from them and live your own life raising your children and setting that stellar example for them. So as an action today, ask the Lord to come upon your parents. Come upon your parents, bless them. Ask for them to have peace of mind, strength in the body, and wisdom that they've accrued over their lifetime with others, sharing that with others, including sharing with yourself. You, in turn, benefit from the prayer of letting go of past hurts. So Lord Almighty, we ask that you come upon each of our parents, our fathers and our mothers, people who have raised us and led and guided us. Give them wisdom, Lord, to shelter others and to guide others. Lord Almighty, hear our prayer and give us the strength to lead and guide younger people in our lives. Guide them in your ways, Lord. There are those who curse their fathers and mothers and do not bless them. The Bible's clear, bless and do not curse. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that wherever you are, you're warm, you have plenty of food, and plenty of love to share. Amen.